So yesterday we were checking about the uh, modifying the string, right? So first let's open my project in the PyCharm my IDE. So every day, uh, so all of you please uh, start practicing in the PyCharm my IDE only, just by debugging and all. otherwise it will be difficult in the future because if you are start doing now only, so you will understand the how to use that this, uh, Python commands and uh, Python methods and all inbuilt methods. Okay, so this is the project we were splitting the uh, string. So by by giving the uh, any value, so we can give any value actually. So I am just using the this colon to split the complete string. If we use this colon, so wherever I get this colon inside this, uh, so it will split. So for example, if I give here, so it will split as this as one string and this as one string like this. One, two, three, four four string it will split and it will store it in the list list type of variable so list i think uh, you you know right so last time we have checked that the list will be represented within the brackets and uh, the values will be there as per the index depend upon the indices so i will just run this code so now we can able to see one, two, three, four. There is a four split. Okay, that four splitted values will be stored as a in a list, in a list variable. So this rest is the list variable. This rest I am I'm just printing it. Okay, we'll see the next concept. So script we have uh, replace we checked it split we just checked it. Next we'll go for the concatenation of the string. So concatenation of the string means we are appending the two string values. So if you want to do any append in the two string variables in any other programming language, what you have to do? So first you have to make it as a one array. This and then you have to create a one more array character array that you have to that you have to store it as a character two characters array after that in, after the first character array the last index value will be again start from this this first index value we we just keep adding to the one more array means then it will come in a in a one single array so the, all the strings will come so if you want to do it like that so it takes more than uh, 8 to 10 lines but in the python so we can just by adding a plus operator we can append the two strings so let's try that so i will take the variable a with my name and variable b with my second name let's just So now if I want to append this two strings, so A and B, so then my full name will come. So that so for that what I will do? So I will just append the A plus B. So then resultant will be stored in the rest. So this rest I am just printing the final value. So I will just execute the code. So now we can able to see the appended value, Hasha and then HS. So it will be in the same variable. So even we can debug and we can see the result. So there is a one variable is created A with the type string and the value is Harsha. So and the second variable is created with the value HS. So and this is appending the A and B. So when it is executed A plus B, so Harsha and HS has been appended. So both the value has been stored in a single variable. So if you call this 
rest value if you print this rest value so it will print the both appended value acha and so is a sync concatenation and then format sync so if you want to append any integer value so we can append by using the plus operator but this will give the error because this is an integer value so that's why we need to format it so if we make a format so this integer value also it become a string so it will format to this string so and this uh, so what will be the final output will be so i will take one i equal to 2 and i want to format the string a okay dot format i so this is printing the a value so what to call formatted so to insert that value we should represent this so this open brace and close so in fact the string wherever we want for example if i want in between this so i just give it like so then for here the value has been inserted so if you want to insert any value by using the format method so like this we should use so to print where we uh, in which position we, we we need to print this i value so we need to first we need to give this open flower bracket and close flower bracket so then we need to call the format method and we have to pass the variable i so for example any integer value or any value so that time it will insert that value to here yeah. so for example we we'll check to some other position at the end so execute the code so it is uh, adding that integer value at the end so instead of that if i want to a plus b plus i now we want to print p you see the output so this is giving error because of this is the integer value so one more method we have tried before so just by uh, doing the casting so how we can cast that integer value by using the string method string of str of i so then if we do like that so we can append that value with the integer so but if we don't want to cast it and if we want to use the integer value to append for this so then we have to use the format we can't directly append like this so we can use this open flower bracket and close flower bracket and b dot format format of i so then it has been printed as this so like this also we can by using the in the string operation so we can format like this. so in between if you guys any questions or any doubts you ask me at the middle you can stop me and uh, so we can discuss if you don't understand anything so these are the string formats
and next there is an in the strings there is an escape character so escape characters for example slash sorry double quote so if we want to use the double quote inside this string so then uh, interpreter is consider this like uh, you are ending this uh, code here only because once you start the double code the interpreter will end this your uh, string with the double quote so if it is finds the double quote so then string will be ended here so then we can't use the double quote inside this so when we want to use the double quote we should use the slash so first we'll try with using the double quote inside and what error we are getting we'll see that so let's take a variable a and uh, i am putting harsha and okay so there is a after harsha i need a double quote before it says so i just mentioned this double quote but it is giving the error so i want to print this so this is giving the error unterminated string literal so in the line number 2 with this position so because this interpreter has been ended to ended here only because we are using the double quote so but if we want to use the double quote in inside this string so then we have to use this slash okay then if we use this slash so we can able to see this double quote so getting right what i am saying so if you want to use the double quote inside the string so without slash we can't able to use it so if you put the slash before this double quote so then this double quote this will not consider this uh, this string will be end here so again this will continue and uh, it, when the double quote again it will we get the double quote without slash so then the interpreter will consider so this is the end of this string so like this by using this slash we can use the double quote like this so here they just use the two times double quote so we can use the much time also but we should use the slash before the double quote for example if i run now so we get two double quotes two double quotes here so for example if i want to mention my uh, age in the within double quote so that time i have to use the slash like this so then my age will be represent within the double quote so if you don't use the slash so it will throw the error so and there is a lot of string methods are there so whatever we have uh, just now we have seen so the, those are all the few important methods so what are all those methods string concatenation string modification slicing and uh, in the string how to declare the string and multiple line values how to store the multiple line values so in the same way there is a so many methods are there so each method will do their own task so for example capitalize so to capitalize convert the first character to upper case so if you want to test it so this harsha i want to make it as a capitalize as a first character so a dot so whatever the string variable is there so that variable name dot capitalize so then actually my first character it was a small small h so then it has been converted to capitalize 
so this is the capitalized method does so in the same way you can see case fold center count so count will give the returns the number of times a specified value occurs in a string so whatever the value we give so that value how many times it is occurred in the string so that count it will give so this is the count method so like that there is a so many methods are there so you please uh practice these methods okay this is just a description will be there so you just practice them okay so why java is uh, why python is very simple programming language because we are getting a lot of inbuilt libraries so we get lot of methods we just need to know how to use the how to use these methods okay but if you take any other programming language you you need to uh, you need to do from yourself with a lot of coding with a lot of lot of projects you need to think and you need to resolve but as per as per the problem you just need to check which method i need to call which is already in build so we just need to use that so that's why python will be called as a very simple programming language so any doubts in this so in the python we are just in the strings in the data type so numbers we have completed and casting we have completed and only string data type is completed so next we will go one by one data type so data types is as as i explained you before so it is just a type of data we are storing into the variable so that is the data type okay so you no need to memorize anything here because as you start working so you just you can uh, google it and you can get you can get the information for example in the string if you, you don't know how to concatenation method so you in the google you can just search it how to concatenation the string in the google so it will give the same method so python string operation so you can use that and you can use use in your programming language okay but you should know the proper syntax and how to use the method and how to debug it so only this is the very much important you you should learn you are getting what i am saying ah uh, yes basavaraju and narmada Sir, are you getting what I am saying? Yeah. Okay. If you get any doubt, you just ask me. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. So the next data type is the boolean. So boolean data type we are going to use true or false. So whether it may be a true. or it may be a false value okay so we are going to declare a boolean type of variable so boolean is also one data type so that the data type if you want to declare the data type variable if you want to declare so we need to assign only true and false we don't mention any kind of data types in the python so if you store this string it will it will become a string variable if we as as same as so if we store the boolean value it will become a boolean kind of variable so just let's declare one variable with the with other in the boolean value as a true so i am just debugging so now in the debugger you can able to see so the variable a is been created with the boval bool type so this is the boolean type so the value is the true so we can we can only store only two types of value either we can store true or either nor we can we can store false so other than that we can't store any other value so even we can try that so for example if i want to store my name some integer value so that will become an integer variable 
because in python whatever the value you pass you assign so that variable will become that data type that type of variable so as usual in the boolean so we can store only true or false so there is only two values in the boolean so except this true false if you assign any value so it will not show it as a boolean so for example i will store it as a 1 0 so this is also an integer so if you assign the value 0 so it will automatically take this value as a integer value So in the boolean value, so we can bool condition true or false will be majorly used in the conditional state. Okay, so we'll see that conditional statements in the future. So as as usual as the data type, uh, as per the data type, so boolean can only store the true or false value. So we also exercise that with storing the true and false for the Variable. How to declare and how to assign the value. So now let's go to the operators. So in the operators, so what are the operators we get? So usually there is a arithmetic operator, assignment operator, comparison operator, logical operator, identity operator, membership operator, and bitwise operator. So let's go one by one. So arithmetic operators are the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus, and the exponential, and the floor division. Okay, let's go one by one. So single equal we used to use the assignment operator. Okay, so the single equal we call it as the assignment operator. So the single equal is how it will be used like so what is the right side value will be assigned to the left side value left side variable so even uh, while declaring while assigning the value we were using the single equal so this single equal means right side val value will be stored in the left side variable so as usual there is a addition operator So addition operator will do the addition of two numbers, two whole numbers. So when we take a two whole numbers, for example, a is three and b equals to five, then if we see equals to a plus b. So c equals to a plus b. Then if we print c, so we will get the what is stored in c. We can able to print. So let's debug it. So c is equal to eight. So five plus three eight. So then it will print the c value. So in the console also we can able to see the output. So in the same way we can test for the subtraction, multiplication, and division also. So just let's change the operator here. From plus to minus, then I will directly execute. So the value will be minus two. So three minus five is the minus two. So then we'll do the multiplication by replacing here only with the multiplication operator. Then if we execute, we get the fifteen. So a into b, five three is the fifteen. So let's do the division. So a divided by three by five is the zero point six. So then we will check the exponential. So what the value will come? So 
15. So when I have not used exponential, we we'll just check that. So how we try? So three to the power four. So means left side will be the base value, and right side will be the power of that. So for this, we call it as a exponential. So then, what will happen? So three to the power five. So if it is a three to the power five, how much? Three into into. Input. So there is a five three. So we see the output two four three. So it will be two four three three. So it means two raised to three raised to five. 